Okay, boys and girls, today I'm going to show you some fun stuff that I've been working on. We've got a bunch of cardboard terrain here that I've been working on. I've been kind of busy as of late with uh, some role-playing games, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to work on Warhammer stuff. Uh, I got this shelf here that now I'm using for terrain on top of this uh, shelf back here that I use for bits and storage of various other things. Um, <clears throat> we've also got these little ruins that I've uh, made neat little room pieces. Uh, the wonderful thing that I've found is you can make really cheap terrain just from cardboard that you can get from like Walmart or just really any grocery store or any store really after they've thrown it out or when they're still unpackaging stuff. And then you pick up some of this. It's called Rustoleum American Accent Stone. It comes in various colors. So uh, you can use this to make like ruined buildings, mainly like Imperials type stuff. Though if you do decide to do that, pick up a regular 87 cent uh, can of black spray paint and put a, a solid layer of this black down on it. You don't have to get it perfectly covered, but make sure you cover most of it because the downside of this, uh, this stone paint is the color doesn't cover the bare uh, cardboard as well. So you really need to put that black down before you uh, put that down instead. Uh, up here, I've also got an orc tower that I've worked on. I just did solid gray on this because I didn't think that orcs would have stone worked stuff very much. And right here, these I haven't worked on, but these are actually, my friend Peter works at a train store, and these are some old rusted uh, train tracks that they use. And we're gonna glue these down to some cardboard and use this for a scenario. Uh, pretty much at the beginning of each player's turn, you roll 2d6, and if you get double ones, a train, an Imperial train comes through and just takes whatever is on the track off the board. It, even if it's a, a creature that's normally immune to instant death, you would, uh, it would be, just be considered uh, way too far uh, on the front of the train down away from the battle to make a difference anymore. Um, other than that, I've just been... Uh, Right here I've got a box full of like a monolith and stuff. I'm packing up a lot of the Necron army right now uh, because I'm going to be taking it to Yukon, which is a local gaming convention, and trying to auction it off. And then if I can't auction it off there, I'm going to uh, attempt to throw it on eBay and pretty much get what I can for it because I need the cash and I'm not using it anymore. And I don't really see myself using it at all until the new codex comes out. And if the new codex rocks enough, then I'll just uh, convert a new Necron army and do a hell of a lot more conversions. Because this one's just pretty basic. It's it, There's no conversions done to this one. And you know me. I like conversions. Uh, that's all for now, guys. I'll start trying to actually show up on my videos, you know, instead of just being behind the camera a little bit from now on.